In this tutorial, we are going to study about multi-purpose registers and the special purpose registers. So in the previous tutorial, we have already covered the segment registers, which constitutes the bus interface unit, which we call it as BIU. These registers, which are the multipurpose registers, are actually inside the execution unit. So I'm going to write execution unit here. So in the execution unit, the microprocessor performs the uh, operations as provided by the instructions. Now these registers are used by the microprocessor to either store some result of the instructions after operations or something else. We're going to discover that in all of these registers that I have specified here. So when we discussed initially about the microprocessor 8086 architecture, 8086 architecture, we saw that in the execution unit, there were some register, which was the AX, bx cx and dx so these registers we saw that these are actually the 16 bit registers so they can store 16 bit of information and we saw that these registers can further be splitted into ah plus al now ah is an 8 bit register and al is also an 8 bit uh, 8 bit register so ah plus al al basically means lower byte h means the higher byte we know that one byte uh, these are actually two bytes so it will contain 8 bits and similarly this will remain same for ah also so these are the registers that we discussed so if we will apply E in front of their names so if I will apply E in front of all of these names these register will become 32 bit registers and if further I rename from E to R which you can see here RAX, RBX, RCX and RDX they are all 64 bit registers so that's why I have written RAX, which is a 64 bit register. And these all are actually same RAX, EAX, AH, AX. They all, are, they all are all same. The difference is just between how much bit of information they can actually store. Now, A, B, C, D are not just alphabetical orders, but they also have some meaning. So RAX or simply the AX register is known as the accumulator register is known as the accumulator register. The BX is known as the base index register, base index register. CX is the count register and DX is the data register. So these are actually the full form of C, D, A and B. So let's start studying our study with the first register, which is the accumulator register. So this is a 64 bit register. You can see RAX is a 64 bit register. Now accumulator is used for instructions. It is used for instructions such as multiplication i'm going to write here multiplication division and some other adjustment instructions So basically the RAX register 
the accumulator register it is basically used for the instructions uh, like multiplication division because in these type of instructions we actually uh, do some adjustments in the instructions although we will study briefly about instructions that include the multiplication division so we will see how this register will use all of the registers that we're going to study we are just going i'm just going to give you a summary of what actually they do if you have not understood any particular register then there is no problem because in the further coming tutorials we are going to study the movement instructions so uh, we will again uh, we will be able to understand the use of these registers so coming to the base index register this register holds the offset address holds the offset address we discussed about offset address that it is used to particularly access an instruction within within a segment so it holds the offset address of a location of a location in memory system location in the memory so that's why it is known as base index now the next one is the count register and it basically holds the count for various instruction holds various counts sorry holds count for various instructions So this ratio is also useful in cases when we want to actually count the number of instructions or we want to maintain a variable uh, count so that we can actually go from one instruction to the next instruction. We will see this, uh, the implementation of RCX register in the further coming tutorials. By this, we know that it is used to hold the count for various instructions. The next one is the data register and it is also a it is a general purpose register which holds a part of a holds a part of result part of result from a multiplication or dividend So let's suppose you are uh, multiplying two numbers and you want to uh, you have you're getting a carry over so to store the carry we can actually use this this uh, data register or if you want to store the dividend it's actually dividend so if you want to store the dividend you can also do that in the data register which holds the data so dividend before division all right so these are basically the multi purpose registers these are the four multiple uh, multi purpose registers now let's move on to the rbp rdi and rc sorry rsi these three now rbp is known as the base pointer rbp is known as the base pointer and base pointer means that it actually is a reference to a memory location for memory data transfer so it actually points to a memory location for the memory data transfer for memory data transfer So the RBP or the base pointer register will just hold some, it will point to some memory location so that we can perform the data transfer. I hope you understand that. So now we are going to study the DI, which is the destination index. Now these two registers, which is the 
destination register and RSI which is the source index which is the source index now these two registers RDI and RSI these are actually used for some string operation so if we want to do some string operation let's suppose we want to transfer a string from one register to another we can use these two registers we will see uh, these uh, the use of these two registers when we will study about string transfers so uh, rsi which is the source index it addresses it addresses the source string data source string data means that we are actually picking up a source string and we uh, and basically these are for the string instructions so let me just quickly write it here string instructions all right then comes the destination index and uh, it is also the same it also addresses now it addresses the destination string destination string data and same as here for the string instructions so these are the multi-purpose registers rax rbx rcx rdx rbp rdi rsi out of which these two are used for the string instructions which we will study briefly now let's come to these three registers these three are the last registers these three registers are not the multi-purpose registers these are known as the general purpose registers these are known as the general purpose registers so let's study about the first register which is the rip register or it is known as the instruction pointer instruction pointer so instruction pointer will or the rip which is a, a special purpose sorry not general it is special purpose register so this instruction pointer or ip it points to the next instruction points to the next instruction in a program so if you have a program it might have more than one instruction so IP is the instruction pointer which will actually point always point to the next instruction in a uh, in a program and this is used by a microprocessor used by microprocessor I'm going to write MP here which stands for microprocessor to find the next find the next sequential instruction in a program sequential instruction in a program all right so next one is the stack pointer and as the name suggests it actually is used when we are going to use stacks so when we will introduce stack uh, in microprocessor we will see the use of this pointer and it basically addresses an area of memory an area of memory and we call this area of memory as stack called as stack and the stack memory stores data so the stack memory will store data stores data through this pointer through the use of this pointer using i'm going to write here rsp 
all right so the last one is the flags and we have actually covered flags when we introduced the microprocessor architecture why flags is used uh, so actually it indicates a condition the flags are used to indicate condition of microprocessor and control its operation that is the use of our flags register so it will indicate the condition of microprocessor uh, so we will also study about flags uh, in the further coming tutorials because uh, it indicates whether the microprocessor is ready to actually perform the operations or not so uh, this is real uh, this is a brief topic and a whole topic a whole video will be dedicated to this one all right so now we have a good knowledge of the of all the registers in microprocessor we now know the segment registers the multi-purpose registers the special purpose registers these are all the registers and we know some we have some knowledge about each one of them so in the next tutorial we are actually going to uh, study a topic which is known as real mode memory addressing real mode memory addressing so we will see how uh, this real mode memory addressing is performed by a microprocessor and what exactly this is so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching